So last time we talked about React Fiber, we looked at it from a high level. We looked at the stack reconciler versus the fiber reconciler. We looked at what reconciliation even is, and we drew some diagrams connecting things together. If you missed that video, stop, go watch it right now. I'll put a link up there. It's important you watch that because we're expanding on that and we're, I'm going to assume you watch that, okay? So there may be things you don't know. Just go with it. Again, the link is up there and under the like button. Today, we're getting practical. We will literally look at the source code of React DOM and we'll use a time traveling browser to do it. It's gonna be nuts. Let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, listen, I know this is a React video, but I'm allowed to wear whatever I want, okay? Just before y'all at me. Um, but here, we're gonna open Replay, and what we're gonna do is literally use a React app that we built in the last video and time travel through it, looking at what called what when, and looking at the call order of React Fiber Reconciliation functions, specifically the work loop, begin work, complete work, commit root, to get a better understanding. I should say as well, you don't need to know any of this to use React effectively. This is just for the curious people uh, like me and probably you. Okay, with that, let's get into replay. So this is it. This is the time travel browser. I'm going to hit record. Um, and now I'm going to click one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to click six times and stop recording. Now it's going to ask me to name my replay. I call it Fiber and it will upload. Um, the upload does take a little bit of time. Uh, the team, I think, is working on making this faster, but when it finishes, we're going to see time travel. Like, it's real. Um, the upload is still happening, but I expect any second now, magic's going to happen. What would be really cool is a progress bar. You know, progress bars are awesome. They, they, they give you a sense of, like, how long something's going to take. Um, anyway, it's done. Um, and what we see here is a replay. Now, I want to draw your attention to this seek bar, okay? Like, if I click this, and if it's just gonna start playing, it looks like a video. But here's the deal, it's not a video. It's like actual code executing in a paused, time travely way. Um, this is nuts, and if I um, click on the info, I actually see all the click events, and I can jump to different click events, and I can travel back in time, and um, pretty wild. Um, there's also dev tools where I can like straight up look at the thing that called the click, um, and I can leave a print statement, and I can say, um, click like click happen here and do this and if I play I see in the console um, where the clicks happen and I can literally like fast forward to certain clicks I can rewind to other clicks um, it's 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 pretty what's the guy from back to the future Marty Bird Marty McFly anyway um so yes but here's the thing about replay it allows you to time travel through Note modules. So we're literally going to look at the source code of React DOM and, and travel through time as we understand it. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to go here to the sources and go to node modules, React DOM, CJS, React DOM dot development dot JS. Um, I'm going to collapse this sidebar because we don't need it. And look, we have syntax highlighting and everything. So now if you saw the last video, we talked about some functions. We talked about how the fiber reconciler starts with a work loop work loop sync while there's work to do do work okay let's go find that so work loop sync boom um let's look at what it actually does though um let's go to its definition here look at this while work in progress is not null that means while there's work to do um do it <laughs> declarative programming okay but what does perform unit of work do um, perform unit of work takes a unit of work and then if we're in profile mode or if we're not in profile mode we assign next to the return of begin work dollar one which as we saw in the last video takes a current fiber a unit of work and subtree render lanes what is begin work dollar one let's go find it so this thing um is is basically how um react suspense works okay so we we have a work in progress copy um, in, in dev, um, and we have a massive try-catch. Try, begin work, K, 
catch um, with suspense here. We're not going to look at that, but in the try, we have a call to begin work. Let's look at what begin work does. Now, if you remember the last video, again, link under the like button, begin work is a function in reconciliation that marks updates, that sets flags on a given fiber and then moves down. Sets flags on children, moves down, keeps going down the tree, setting update flags until there's no more down to go. Okay, once that's done, we start getting into complete work territory and coming back up. We'll talk about that. But for now, let's focus on begin work. Let's add a print statement straight away. We'll do uh, um, begin work called on and we'll log the work in progress uh, argument. We'll play that. And what we can see here is begin work called on. This is a fiber, by the way. Um, a fiber is a large JavaScript object. Um, with, with a lot of things, and it just contains a lot of state to tell React how to make updates. Um, so that's the fiber. I want you to pay attention to two things. One, the tag on the fiber, so this number here, and two, the state node. The state node is the actual like stateful work in progress node in this case, okay? But now let's look at what's happening in begin work. Um, if current is not equal to null, that means if there is something, if there is a current node in the browser, this is going to be an update effect uh, to an existing element. It's not actually going to be an effect. It's going to just mark that an update effect needs to happen. We compare some props and we set a flag did receive update true. Um, we just continue down here setting this did receive update or not, but on what do we set the flag? Or rather, how do we uh, continue begin works flag setting? Um, if we scroll down, we just see a massive switch case on the tag. We mark different types of components, different types of fibers differently. Um, in case of the inter in indeterminate component, um, this function happens. In the case of lazy component, we don't have any of those in our tree. Um, by the way, the tree that we built last time is here. It's just a div h1 span button. And as we can see here in the console, we have, we call begin work on div h1 span, spans children button. Um, we'll follow the whole loop shortly. Let's just look at what begin work does. In the case of function components, update them this way. And we just go through this whole thing, um, basically saying this needs to update or this doesn't need to update. And we keep going down. Next up is complete work. In fact, let's look at the completion of this function. After the big switch case, we throw an error saying, yeah, I don't know what tag you're talking about. Um, so now let's look at complete work, complete work. It takes the same arguments. We covered this in the last video. And for all of these kinds, it's also, by the way, a massive switch case. For all of these kinds of fibers, it calls bubble properties, which is a concern of render lanes that we will not cover um, in this video. But for class components, it does this. For host roots, it does that. I want to look at what complete work does for like DOM elements, because I think that's going to be useful for your curiosity. Um, to recap, begin work sets update flags on the way down. Complete work builds a DOM tree in a detached state um, and goes up. Okay, so it, it builds it literally like the next state, the next tree of elements. Um, not in the browser yet. And then the commit phase puts it in the browser. We covered this in the last video. Um, let's look at how complete work does that. The host root is exactly what it sounds like. It's the root where you mount your React component. Um, I want to look at the update for a host component. A host component is, for all intents and purposes, your, your DOM components. How does it update or add those? Let's look. So we, um, I want to draw your attention to specifically the like how complete work builds the tree how it appends children because i think that's really interesting so if we come to the non like hydration stuff this code here is for elements that don't yet exist that we need that complete work will add create instance um, is literally document dot create element more or less append all children will document dot append child. So like we looked at in the last video, we're literally building a tree. We're creating documents and appending documents. We're creating elements and appending children to them and building an entire tree off the browser. Um, let's add a console log and see this in action. So we'll do um, complete work called on work in progress. So now if I, if I save that, here's where it gets interesting. We have 
begin work going down, complete work coming up. And let's cross-reference this with our tree here. So notice, this is after we've clicked the button. Begin work is called on the div, okay? That's done. It's marked for updates or not, and then it goes down to h1. Begin work called on h1. h1 has no children, so complete work is called on h1. Then begin work is called on span, the sibling. Um, span does have children. It has this and it has this. So begin work is called on span. It goes down and this doesn't have any children. So complete work is called on this. Begin work is then called on the interpolated value and complete work is called on the interpolated value. Then complete work is called on span and then we go to button. Button again doesn't have children uh, except a text node, so it, which is a value, and then we just call complete work on button, then we call complete work on div, then we call complete work on the app, and then we call complete work on the fiber root node. So you can kind of see the flow going begin down, complete up. That is the entire render phase. If you got this, congratulations, leave a comment, tell me how happy you are if you are. Let's talk about the commit phase. Um, to do that, we'll search for commit root impl. That's the function that does it. And what we'll do is we'll just add a little print statement here and we'll say commit root called. We'll maybe log the root just for fun and we'll save that. So we have the begin work and com commit complete work done. We talked about and at the very end, after you complete work on the fiber root node, you commit root. Um, on the fiber root node here. So commit root called. And then we click the button again, and the cycle repeats and repeats and repeats every single time. Um, I think we are logging button click. Yeah, so click happened here, and this is the final click. Begin work on div, and it just completes work all the way up and commits root. That, my friends, is fiber reconciliation in action in a time traveling way, thanks to replay. Um, was that understandable? You have questions, comments, let me know um, what you think. Leave a comment or at me on Twitter. But for now, that's been it for the Fiber Reconciler series. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you like more stuff like this or what content you want to see next. I'm always happy and ready to listen and serve you. With that, catch you in the next one. Peace.